Trina Mount 1 for Tile Roof from Trina Solar offers the industry's fastest and least expensive way to install PV systems on tile roofs. Trina Mount 1 minimizes roof attachment points, eliminates the need for long length mounting rails, requires very few parts, and simultaneously accomplishes structural and grounding connections. It is designed to connect with various types of third party tile hook or standoff attachment hardware. This video demonstrates a Trina Mount 1 installation on standard tile hooks. Trina Mount 1 utilizes ZEP compatible PV modules that are manufactured with special Trina Mount frame design and are designed to receive Trina Mount hardware that lock into the Trina Mount groove. The core components of Trina Mount 1 include the spanner clamp, the spanner bar, the bar sleeve, the cam foot, the interlock, and the ground bolt. The upper portion of the cam foot contains a rocket, which has a key side and a tongue side. The key side rocks into the module's Trina mount groove, and the tongue side receives the module groove. Interlocks contain zeps which are designed to mate with module grooves. Once the PV array mounting area has been established, the perimeter of the array and the rafter layout are marked with chalk lines. Tiles are then removed at the selected attachment point locations. Third-party tile hooks are then installed according to the manufacturer's instructions. Tiles are reinstalled after code-compliant waterproofing measures have been taken. Next, the first two spanner bars are mated by inserting the male portion of the lower spanner bar into the female portion of the upper spanner bar. Then the two spanner clamps are slid onto the spanner bars to their desired locations. And the assembly is lowered into place on the west side of the array with the spanner clamps aligned with the tile hooks. The assembly is then secured to the tile hooks with the supplied carriage bolts and locking flange nuts. Next, the third spanner bar receives a spanner clamp, is mated with a middle spanner bar, and is secured as before. This process is then repeated on the east side of the array. Once both east and west side spanner bar runs are installed, a string line is run between them at the lower edge of the array in order to aid in the alignment of the remaining lower edge spanner bars. Then the spanner bar installation process is repeated for the rest of the array. Once all spanner bars have been installed, Bar sleeves are installed at the upper end of each spanner bar run by sliding them into place. Next, the first row of cam feet is installed along the lower edge with their key sides facing down roof. A cam foot is installed by inserting it into the groove of the spanner bar and rotating it 90 degrees with the Trina mount flat tool. Once the first row of cam feet are installed, the first two array skirts are coupled together with an interlock and an interlock spacer. An interlock is installed by inserting its key side into the groove of the array skirt at a 15 degree angle and then rotating the zeps 90 degrees with the Trina mount tool so that timing marks on the tool align with the timing marks on the top surface of the interlock. Once the first two array skirts are mated, they are rocked onto the tongue side of the cam feet rockets at the west end of the array and jams are inserted into the tops of the rockets to prevent the array skirt from rotating back out. Next, the third array skirt is rocked onto the cam foot, an interlock is installed at the seam, and jams are inserted as before. This process is then repeated for the fourth array skirt. Once all of the array skirts have been installed, the first Trina mount PV module is dropped into place at the lower west corner of the array by resting the module groove on top of the tongue side of the rocket and rotating downward. A cam foot is then mated to the upper edge of the module by inserting it into the spanner bar groove at an angle, sliding it towards the module frame, and rocking the key side of its rocket into the module's groove. Then the lower portion of the cam foot is rotated 90 degrees to lock it into the spanner bar. This is then repeated for subsequent modules, and interlocks are installed on the upper edge between each module.
This process is then repeated for subsequent rows. A ground bolt lug is installed at the perimeter of the array to receive the array's equipment grounding conductor. This completes the mechanical installation of a Trina Mount 1 PV array. For full instructions and more information on Trina Mount, visit trinasolar.com.